day two of fort week yes i'm keeping it up so far so day two means we're doing the fort american station wagon matchbox number 31 b that was produced from 1960 till 1963 this model originally came out in green with a pink yes believe it or not pink roof and a green windows now before i start i quickly quickly want to say that rob from matchbox garage uh, just did the same model a couple days ago and obviously i'm going to link his video in the description down below so please go check him out after this f after this oh i lost all my viewers oh rob can you please send them back no worries so for the five viewers that are still left this is my fort as you can see the base is in pretty good shape as are the axles and the wheels but the tow hook is missing for the model itself the paint is well pretty rough and the glass is actually cracked so first step drilling out the rivet after the rivet is drilled out i just use my immense force to no i just took a screwdriver and pried open the base so to take off the base next we have the window as you can see it's cracked right in the front but you can't really see it and the base is a banana. Now I like bananas on bread, but not on my matchbox bases. So take my drill again and drilling out the rivets that hold in the window. Really being careful not to drill through the roof because I can always make a convertible after that. But ooh, a convertible station wagon. That's an idea for a future video. So I got the window out. As you can see, it's cracked right there. You can you cannot really see it when it's all complete, but it has a crack and it had some strange glue residue. Oh well. So how I fixed this, I just threw it out and take my box of goodies. And there it is. As I ordered a new window. This model really deserves a new window. So before everyone ask, yes, this is my box of goodies. I got wheels, ladders, racing drivers, tow hooks, more ladders, doors, tracks, glass, everything, stickers. I got a lot so I can keep going for a little while longer. Now everything is supplied by MK Models. So a link to their website is going to be in the description down below. So let's focus our attentions to the base and getting the axles off. How I do it, I just take my Dremel and I just Dremel off the, the little metal edge that is holding on the wheels. Also I put one finger on the other side of the axle, not putting any pressure on it so the axle can spin freely and I can just take the metal edge off all around. So after I did that, the wheel just slides off. I repeat the process on the front axle. When the axles are out, I just take my immense force and just bend the base back into shape. That therefore not being a banana anymore. So let's take the... I say so a lot. Next, no I say next also a lot. Just take the paint off the model and the base first uh, taking off the base. And then it's saying goodbye to the pink because yes, the pink is not returning. I know it's not technically a restoration then, it's more a custom when I change color. But I don't want pink on my freshly restored Ford station wagon. So after one hour of sitting, I take my toothbrush and speed myself up, cleaning off the paint. Next, I take my mom's pajama pants and wipe off the remaining loose paint and paint stripper. And the last step, I take a little piece of Scots Bright and just remove every single bit of paint and corrosion. So after 15 minutes, I end up with uh, this. Not even close to being finished, but I want to just quickly show you little in between then for primer i'm using a fine surface primer by tamia applying two coats in total leaving about 30 minutes to dry between coats wow i'm really proud of myself that's the first time i've been actually being able to say that in one take awesome also put my primer on the base and applying the roof color after the primer is dry so for the roof I decided to go with a beige buff by Tamiya 
in my opinion a lot better than the pink please leave your please leave what you think in the comment section down below then for the uh, actual green i started to mix a dark green and a medium gray to create this greenish color it's close to the original i think so in total i apply three coats of this greenish paint the first is a light tech coat and coat number two and three are full wet coats leaving between 30 minutes to an hour between coats then when the final coat is cleared i take off my tamiya masking tape yes i use tamiya masking tape and this is the result moving on to my favorite part of every restoration the fine details so i take my little paintbrush again and just start adding in the details starting off with the headlights then i do the front grille and bumper it takes quite a lot of time but i just really enjoy doing this step it just makes them all stand out next i take a little bit of time to add in the four door handles next i take the paint again and just add in the rear bumper and that little chrome strip that reins that let it reins that what was the word i'm looking for no idea the little chrome strip on the trunk then i take my red paint and add in the tail lights so leaving that to dry and applying one coat of clear coat and leaving it dry overnight then let's get to reassembling the base first i have real difficulty putting the axle back to the base when i do that i just take the second wheel and crimp the end of the axle between my vise didn't decide to show it because you've seen it 19 times i know you know the drill by now next let's get to reassembly of the entire model so i take my glass my new glass i might ask and just put it back into place obviously the old glass was being held in by rivets i cannot recreate that so i is that a gray hair i hope it's paint please don't be a gray hair and i just add a little drop of glue last step i just snap the base back into place and we have before and we have after so like i said go to description down below and head over to matchbox garage because he did the exact same model a couple days ago and his looks amazing also please leave a like subscribe and hope to see you in day number three of fort week bye